Latricia Williams tells me she got a phone call very early last Friday and on the other line was her oldest son telling her that he'd killed his younger brother. In that moment, as you might imagine, her entire world was changed forever. But despite that tragedy, she and her husband are spreading a message of hope, of love and forgiveness. I just want to encourage somebody out there, whatever you're going through, don't let it be too late to, to apologize, to, to make it right and forgive, forgive. That's all they want for their eldest son, despite the heartbreak that he caused, even though he's accused of killing his younger brother, 18 year old Jermaine Williams. This is hurting us because we didn't just lose one son. We lost two. Family says the brothers had been staying with another relative in Detroit in the 2000 block of Prince Hall Drive. The preliminary info police gave me is this. Last Friday around 6.30 a.m. they got a call from the 22 year old suspect about what happened. They tell me it looks like there was an argument and a struggle over a gun and Jermaine may have had a knife when he was shot. Police arrested Jermaine's older brother, but he's been released pending charges. We don't know what happened that day, but we just ask that guy have mercy. Latricia says Jermaine had a bright future. He had plans to write a book on dealing with mental health. He wanted to go to college and was a standout football player. Brick by Brick Strength and Conditioning Company, his brainchild to share the love of the game. Jermaine did not just play the game. He loved the game. He was uh, a teacher. He was a teacher. Anyone that came onto the team that was a rookie or didn't know the game, he trained them. And now they're left asking why. Why did this happen? How could it happen? While police continue to investigate. We were great parents. We did everything we could. We raised them up in the fear of the Lord. This is a feeling I don't want any mother to ever have to feel. My heart is aching. Our hearts are aching. No words can explain really how we really, really feel. And police tell me they submitted a warrant package to the prosecutor's office and now they're submitting additional information after it was returned to them. Now, no word on when charges could be levied against Jermaine's brother. The family tells me, though, that they trust the legal system and they're just going to wait here for an outcome. Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.